Well, howdy there, friends. Today, we're embarking on a remarkable journey to catch a glimpse of how the cast members from Ghost have changed over the years. We'll be revealing their true identities and ages, and you're in for a real treat as we compare their youthful days on the show to the present year of 2023. So don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Y'all ready for this ride? Let's get this journey rolling. 1. Patrick Swayze as Sam Wheat Portraying the character Sam, Patrick Swayze finds himself as a young professional in the bustling urban landscape of New York City, sharing his life with his longtime girlfriend Molly Jensen. Sam's existence takes a tragic turn when he falls victim to the hands of Willie Lopez, prompting him to enlist the assistance of a hesitant medium named Oda May Brown to safeguard Molly from Willie's impending threat. Swayze's initial foray into the professional realm involved showcasing his dancing prowess with the Disney theatrical group in a production titled Disney on Parade. Subsequently, he took on the iconic role of Danny Zuko in a replacement cast for the enduring Broadway hit, Grease. In 1979, his cinematic journey commenced with his debut as Ace in Skate Town, USA. During the disco era's Zenith, he featured in a Pabst Blue Ribbon commercial set in a disco-themed nightclub, grooving to Pabst's then-disco-infused jingle. Swayze made notable television appearances, including a role in the MASH episode Blood Brothers, 1981, and the TV movie Return of the Rebels, 1981, alongside Barbara Eden. In 1983, he briefly graced the small screen in the TV series The Renegades as Bandit, a gang leader. Swayze's personal life was marked by a 34-year marriage to Lisa Niemi, lasting from June 12, 1975, until his passing. Despite their union being childless, Niemi had undergone one outpatient procedure. Their connection dates back to 1970 when Swayze, 18 at the time, and Niemi, then 14, first met during dance lessons from Swayze's mother. In a 2008 interview, Swayze credited Niemi as the inspiration behind his song, She's Like the Wind, 1987. On January 9, 2009, Swayze faced hospitalization due to pneumonia, a complication arising from chemotherapy for his cancer. Released on January 16, he returned home to rest with his wife. Tragically, on April 19, 2009, medical reports revealed that the cancer had metastasized to his liver. Swayze, a smoker for 40 years, acknowledged the potential connection between his chain smoking and the development of his illness, persisting with the habit during cancer treatment. Surrounded by family, Patrick Swayze passed away on September 14, 2009, at the age of 57, succumbing to pancreatic cancer diagnosed 20 months earlier. His body was cremated, and his ashes found their final resting place scattered over his cherished New Mexico ranch. 2. Demi Moore as Molly Jensen Molly, a 26-year-old creative residing in New York City alongside her partner Sam Wheat, encounters a tragic turn of events when Sam meets his demise. In the aftermath, Sam reaches out to a hesitant spiritual reader to forewarn Molly about the looming threat posed by Sam's murderer, who now targets her. Moore entered into an agreement with the elite modeling agency, subsequently enrolling in acting classes influenced by her neighbor, the 17-year-old German actress Nastasia Kinski. In August 1979, at the age of 16, Moore crossed paths with musician Freddie Moore, who was married and leading the band Boy at the Los Angeles nightclub The Troubadour. Residing together in a West Hollywood apartment, Moore collaborated on three songs with Freddie Moore and featured in the music video for their track It's Not a Rumor, performed by his band, The New Cats. Her songwriting contributions, 1980-1981, continue to yield royalty checks. Moore also showcased her vocal talents in the films One Crazy Summer and Bobby. At the age of 18, on February 8, 1981, Moore wed singer Freddie Moore, who was 12 years her senior and recently divorced from his first wife, Lucy. 
Before their union, Demi adopted Freddie's surname as her stage name. The couple parted ways in 1983, leading Demi to a relationship with Timothy Hutton. By September 1984, she filed for divorce from Moore, with the process concluding on August 7, 1985. Subsequently, Moore became engaged to actor Emilio Estevez, her co-star in St. Elmo's Fire and Wisdom, a crime drama he wrote and directed. Although initially planning a December 1986 wedding, the engagement was eventually called off. 3. Whoopi Goldberg as Oda Mae Brown Oda Mae Brown resides in the city of New York and operates as a mystical consultant from a seance parlor located in Brooklyn. Despite being informed in her childhood about possessing the talent by her mother and grandmother, both adept at communicating with the deceased, Oda Mae's actual interaction with spirits occurred when she encountered Sam Wheat during a seance for an unrelated client. Goldberg underwent training with acting instructor Uta Hagen at the HB Studio in New York City. She made her first on-screen appearance in Citizen, I'm Not Losing My Mind, I'm Giving It Away, 1982, an experimental ensemble feature by San Francisco filmmaker William Farley. In 1983 and 1984, she initially gained national prominence with her solo performance, where she portrayed Moms Mabley, Moms initially staged in Berkeley, California, and later at the Victoria Theater in San Francisco, the Oakland Museum of California holds a poster advertising the show. Goldberg has been wed thrice. She was wedded to substance abuse counselor Alvin Martin from 1973 to 1979, to cinematographer David Clayson from 1986 to 1988, and to labor union organizer Lyle Trachtenberg from 1994 to 1995. She has engaged in cohabitation with actor Frank Langella and playwright David Shine. Her previous romantic partners include entrepreneur Michael Visball, orthodontist Jeffrey Cohen, camera operator Edward Gold, and actors Timothy Dalton and Ted Danson. Danson controversially appeared in blackface during his 1993 Friars Club roast. Goldberg crafted some of his quips for the occasion and supported Danson following a media uproar. Goldberg copes with dyslexia. She has dwelled in Llewellyn Park, a locality in West Orange, New Jersey, stating that she relocated there for the ability to be outdoors in seclusion. She maintains an extra summer abode on the coastline of Sardinia. She has conveyed a preference for identifying herself with the gender-neutral term actor as opposed to actress, remarking, an actress can only portray a woman. I'm an actor, I can portray anything. In March 2019, Goldberg disclosed that she had been grappling with pneumonia and sepsis, leading her to take a hiatus from The View. 4. Tony Goldwyn as Carl Bruner Carl Bruner emerges as the concealed primary adversary in the 1990 movie Ghost. He previously shared camaraderie with the deceased Sam Wheat and Molly Jensen at the film's outset. Eventually, he dispatched Willie Lopez to pilfer Sam's wallet, leading to Willie murdering Sam. Throughout the narrative, Carl endeavors to shift $4 million, diligently seeking the accompanying check. In the ultimate sequence, his demise transpires as he collides with a glass window, subsequently being dragged into hell, mirroring Willie's fate. The character was portrayed by Tony Goldwyn. The movie received acclaim and secured the Academy Award for Best Original Screenplay. Goldwyn garnered a Saturn Award nomination for Best Supporting Actor for his portrayal. Goldwyn featured in the sitcom Designing Women, portraying Kendall Dobbs, a young interior designer grappling with HIV and seeking the women of sugar bakers to arrange his funeral. Goldwyn has been wed to Jane Michelle Muskie, born May 27, 1954, a production designer since 1987. They share two daughters, Anna and Tess. Additionally, Goldwyn's sibling John previously held an executive role at Paramount Pictures and presently serves as the executive producer of Dexter. His brother Peter is also a film producer and currently presides over Samuel Goldwyn Films. A past president of the Creative Coalition, Goldwyn actively supports arts advocacy 
and is affiliated with the AmeriCares Foundation as an investigator. Goldwyn ardently backed Hillary Clinton and, in 2016, directed a promotional piece featuring his Scandal co-star, Kerry Washington, along with Viola Davis, Ellen Pompeo, and Shonda Rhimes, endorsing Clinton's presidential bid. Goldwyn also acts as a representative for the Innocence Project, a nonprofit committed to exonerating the unjustly convicted and reforming the criminal justice system. He serves on the Board of Governors for the Motion Picture and Television Fund, MPTF. 5. Rick Aviles as Willie Lopez Willie Lopez made his initial appearance as Molly Jensen and Sam Wheat walked past him. Clutching a firearm, he briefly shadows them. Sam turns around and inquires about his intentions. Willie declares he desires his wallet. Sam, assuming it's for the money, hands over the wallet, but insists on retaining the bank statement. Following a struggle involving a gun, Willie shoots Sam, prompting him to flee. In 1978, a reviewer from Variety hailed him as a comedian with a promising future. He frequently performed his routine for subway riders in NYC. By 1981, he secured the role of Mad Dog in the film The Cannonball Run. He went on to participate in 14 additional film projects. In 1987, Avil secured a minor role as the maintenance worker in the film The Secret of My Success, featuring Michael J. Fox. Concurrently, he assumed the role of the host for It's Showtime at the Apollo, remaining in that position until 1991. A variety critique of his stand-up performance in 1990 remarked, employing adept ethnic impersonations and a remarkably flexible face, Puerto Rican comic Rick Aviles emerges as one of the sharpest and consistently witty stand-ups currently on the circuit. He also featured in Jim Jarmusch's Mystery Train, film 1989, as Will Robinson, Francis Ford Coppola's The Godfather Part 3, 1990, as Mask No. 1, Brian De Palma's Carlito's Way, 1993, as Quisqueya, in Waterworld, 1995, as The Gatesman, and in Joe's Apartment, 1996, as the voice of a cockroach. Among the television series where he made appearances are Mr. Aunt Mrs. Dracula, 1980, The Day Women Got Even, 1980, The Carol Burnett Show, 1991, and Stephen King's The Stand, 1994. On April 17, 1995, Variety reported Avil's demise due to heart failure on March 17. Eleven years later, a 2006 article in Entertainment Weekly identified him among the personalities who contracted HIV and succumbed to complications of AIDS. 6. Vincent Schiavelli as Subway Ghost The Subway Ghost appears as a minor figure in the movie Ghost, he aggressively chose to share his train exclusively with fellow passengers, excluding other spirits, including Sam, eventually. Sturdy, he instructed Sam in the art of manipulating objects, enabling Sam to rescue Molly from his assailant and Carl. Schiavelli's inaugural cinematic role transpired in Milos Forman's 1971 creation Taking Off, where he portrayed a counselor guiding parents of runaway teens to use marijuana for a better understanding of their children's experiences. Schiavelli's competence and distinct appearance swiftly granted him a continuous series of supporting roles, frequently in Foreman's productions, such as One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, Amadeus, The People vs. Larry Flint, Valmont, and the 1999 biographical film Man on the Moon. Schiavelli entered matrimony twice, he and his initial spouse, actress Alice Beasley, were wed from 1985 to 1988. They shared the screen in an episode of Moonlighting, Beasley's TV series. They had one son, composer Andrea Schiavelli. Subsequently, Vincent Schiavelli wed harpist Carol Sue Mukalian on October 23, 1992. Their marriage endured until his passing. Schiavelli succumbed to lung cancer on December 26, 2005, at 57 years old, at his residence in Polizzi Generosa, the Sicilian town where his grandfather Andrea Coco originated, a subject he covered in his 2002 book 
many beautiful things, stories and recipes from Polizzi Generosa. His interment took place at Polizzi Generosa Cemetery near Palermo, Sicily. 7. Gail Boggs as Oda May's sister. Gail Boggs portrays Oda May's sister in the film. She found her breakthrough in professional acting in 1971, taking on the role of Sylvia with a touring ensemble in Australia for a pop rock rendition of Shakespeare's The Two Gentlemen of Verona. She inked a deal with William Morris Agency and proceeded to perform in numerous theatrical productions, including the rock opera Mother Earth, an off-Broadway review, Jesus Christ Superstar, and Candide. During a 1975 interview, she recounted that an incidental encounter with Todd Rundgren at a Manhattan intersection led her to contribute backup vocals, alongside her companions Darcy Miller and Laura Nairo, on Felix Cavalieri's second album, Destiny. She also lent her voice to Hall & Oates on War Babies and collaborated with Carly Simon on Spy and Come Upstairs. In the mid-1970s, Boggs lent her vocals and percussion talents to The Striders, alongside Joel Bishop O'Brien and Robbie Dupree, both alums of the original Flying Machine. Additionally, Boggs served as a vocalist in David Sanchez's brief-lived band, Tone. In 1984, Boggs headlined the solo cabaret act, The Gale Boggs Show, at Upstairs at Green Street. The show ran on a weekly basis for the subsequent year and a half. Boggs was among the first to listen to a recording of Madonna's Like a Virgin, and she encouraged Grammy Award-winning writer and producer Niall Rogers to release the song as the lead single from Madonna's forthcoming album at that time. Photographic records of Boggs can be found in the Martha Swope archive at the New York Public Library. Boggs was wedded to Eric Larson, a voice actor and music editor. They share two daughters, Willie and Maddie, the latter being a former gymnast. 8. Armelia McQueen as Oda May's sister. Armelia McQueen portrays Oda May's sister in Ghost. She is most recognized for her performances in the Broadway musical Ain't Misbehavin', 1978 1982, 1988 1989, and the TV show Adventures in Wonderland, 1992 1994. Armelia McQueen was born on January 6, 1952, in Southern Pines, North Carolina. After the separation of McQueen's parents, her mother wed Robert Brown in New York City. In Brooklyn, McQueen attended PS 44 and PS 258. She completed her studies at Central Commercial High School, now Norman Thomas High School, in 1969. McQueen then enrolled in the Fashion Industry School, specializing in fashion design. In 1972, she joined Herbert Berghoff's drama school. McQueen passed away on October 3, 2020, at the age of 68. 9. Phil leads as emergency room ghost. The hospital ghost plays a minor role in Ghost. Following Sam's transition into a ghost after being murdered and trailing Molly to the hospital, the hospital ghost emerges. Witnessing Sam's lifeless body, they both observe an elderly man passing away and ascending to heaven as a ghost. Phil Leeds initiated his career as a stand-up comedian and later featured in numerous films and TV comedies such as Rosemary's Baby, Beaches, All in the Family, Three's Company, Night Court, Wings, Ally McBeal, Everybody Loves Raymond, and The Larry Sanders Show in three installments as Hank Kingsley's agent. At the age of 80, he made an appearance on the 1996 Halloween episode of Roseanne, titled Satan Darling, where Roseanne becomes entangled in a parody of Rosemary's Baby. Leeds had portrayed Dr. Shand in the original 1968 film. His concluding role was a brief scene in Lost and Found, 1999. Leeds faced blacklisting during the McCarthy era after pleading the fifth during questioning by the House Un-American Activities Committee. Leeds enjoyed a 53-year marriage, 1934-1987, to fellow character actress Toby Brandt until her passing. Leeds, who was of Jewish heritage, succumbed to pneumonia on August 16, 1998, at Cedar sinai Medical Center in Los Angeles, at the age of 82. The Ally McBeal episode titled 
Happy Trails showcased footage from his previous appearances on the show, offering a eulogy for his character. 10. Augie Blunt as Orlando Orlando materialized during a session orchestrated by Oda May. In an attempt to connect with his spouse, he entered Oda May's body but was compelled to vacate by her. His presence was fleetingly brief. He and his parents resided in Monroe. After a stint in the military, Augie relocated to Los Angeles, California, where he pursued a career as a musician and an educator for Les Used before transitioning into acting. This decision led to appearances in both films and television shows. His son, Aaron Blunt, took on a childhood acting role in Car Wash and Bad News Bears. Blunt entered matrimony with Dolores Scott on February 2, 1962, in Las Vegas, Nevada. Together, they parented three children, one son and two daughters. John Adele Scott Blunt, born 1958, Carla Nicole Scott Blunt, born 1960, and Aaron Durrell Blunt, born 1963. Augie passed away on May 2, 1999, in Los Angeles, California, at the age of 69. His final resting place is at Riverside National Cemetery. While the curtains close on our exploration of the ghost 1990, cast then and now, we've delved into the captivating evolution of these talented individuals. From the enchanting allure of the past to the present-day endeavors, each member has woven a tapestry of success and growth. The ghosts of 1990 linger in our hearts, reminding us of timeless performances and the enduring spirit of cinema. Here's to the unforgettable journey of the ghost cast, then and now, leaving an indelible mark on our memories and the cinematic landscape.